What's up everybody? It's your boy Busy Blue and I'm back again with another Big Brother Canada recap and review. Y'all, I got a lot of qualms, okay? And we're gonna go through those qualms today. Um, before we get into this um review, make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. I'm gonna be reviewing every episode of Big Brother Canada. Um, sorry it took me so long, I had to go to a baby shower, then I went to go see a wrinkle in time. I wonder if I should do a recap on that. After that, then I went to the bar, um, and I had fun. So, <laughs> I had to wait to catch up. But I'm here now, um, so let's get into the episode. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm doing Big Brother Canada 6, episode 2. So first of all, it's Arissa. I want to thank everybody who let me know in the last video. It's Arissa. And now that I got that right. Arissa girl, who dressing who? Y'all, this dress. It was so skin tone. It was just, don't do that one again, Arissa. Please don't do that one again. Why do I can want to be dressing better than you? Who do the costumes for the show? It just looked a mess. It looked a mess. It was, it just it was all over the place. Arissa. Arissa, the girl, look into this. Don't do that one again. Anyway, we started off on what happened, what happened after the HOH. Um, Johnny's the one that clearly of the HOH. We know that. And he's talking about how hard it is because he doesn't know these people. You were the same person. Let me tell you, I don't like Johnny. And it's going to be a Johnny bashing fest on this uh, um, recap. Just letting y'all know. It's so hard to get to know people. People were up there trying to make deals with you, trying to talk to you, and you're like, oh, I don't want to make any with it. You got Jolly and Alejandra talking, and look, um, she's like, look, um, and, you know, Andrew, he's the one who put us in this position. Maybe it's because he wanted to pick all the good players, all the pretty blondes and stuff like that. But look at us now. We HOH, da da da. I mean, you HOH, da da da. You HOH because he put you here. Ain't like you got an upper hand. He's safe. He ain't worried about nothing. Um, Alejandro's just like, look, I want to stay. I just want to let you know that I want to stay. Um, and Paris is a puppet. Like, we, what we need to do is prepare stuff. Alejandro's just like, look, I got to do whatever I need to do to stay here. So I'm going to tell him how to get us out. Because it's so easy to put up the, the first person who fell. And I don't want him to put me up because I don't want to be in danger of going hell. So Johnny, he wanted to know. You know, who's, this is why I don't like him. He's not playing the game for, you know, the game. It's like, who likes me? Hey, girl, do you, do you know who's cheering for me? Like, did you, do you know who's cheering? Like, how many people did, were like, were cheering for me? And if you're not cheering for me, if you don't make me happy like that, then I'm going to have to get you out. On the surface, to me, to me, it sounds dumb. You know what I'm saying? We got... Physical threats, we got competition threats, we got beast, all of this stuff that we can do, and he's going for, yeah, but you didn't, you didn't cheer for me. They're all sleeping, and Johnny gets up, he's like, it's just, this is such a hard, you know, difficult decision for me, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I'm trying to get together a plan, it's literally the angel and the devil, he is a privileged gay white guy, house husband. And I feel like he winds his way to get what he wants in his real relationship. That's just how I feel. To get what he wants in his real relationship. Because it's just like, oh, it just what is me. Oh. You try to make it seem like hey, this is really who you are. And it showed this is who you really truly who you are. By the way, you acted and why you wanted to vote someone. Oh, who was cheering for me? And she wasn't cheering. And I got, uh. I'm so he could go that way. Any day. So, we get into the HOH room. Who wants to see his new HOH room? It's so big, y'all. How much money do they put into this show? The HOH room was so big. They show really quick pictures of his family. Um, and then Johnny, like, and me. Yo, does it always move this fast? I feel like I just got one week's worth of ep um, Big Brother in two episodes. Probably three weeks. Well, two weeks, sorry. And two episodes. It just moved really fast. It's 70 days, so that's two months. Uh, two and a half-ish months. 
there's enough time to space this out. How many times does it come on the week? I know the next episode is Monday. I don't know. Um, he wants, he's saying that his strategy is that he doesn't want everybody to feel like, um, he knows what he's doing. Um, and that's, and that's kind of like his strategy that he wants to go with in the house. He wants people to feel like he's meek, he's feeble, he just wants to do the sad puppy thing. And I, I really truly do feel like that's how he lives his life, in real life. I feel like he wants everybody to feel like, I feel like people do stuff for him. That's why he's a house husband. He just is sad and meek and it's so, it's pathetic to me. It's, it's pathetic and it's sad to watch. And I don't like that type of gameplay. Like, people are going to carry him through. If it, well, maybe not. Um, he starts talking to Rosina. And y'all know I don't like Rosina. Okay, because, oh my goodness, God, I don't want to go out and You're so beautiful. But, what I did love about her in this episode, now that we've got a chance to get past the surface, oh my God, oh, Gina, she came to play. She came to play. She's like, look, um, John is like, look, I want to be real with you. I'm putting you up um, because I heard that um, you were cheering for Paris. And she's like, I was. I, I was, yes. He's like, well, all of the other girls said that they were not. Um, um, and he's, she's like, they, but they were, they were. Let me tell you something real quick. Those people who are telling you this stuff, they're lying to you. Okay, at least I'm here to say in front of your face, yes, I was rooting for Paris, but there were other girls that were rooting for Paris. I'm not the only one. And if you're going to put me up because of that, you're being foolish. I can help you. I can be a vote for you, and no one's going to be able to help you like I can help you. I'm going to be able to be on your side, have your back. You need people like me to just give you that vote because you're going to kick out people like me. I'm weak. I'm not doing anything wrong. You're going to mess up, and you're going to sit here and mess up your game. So um, all the people that are telling you, that they weren't voting for you, they lying. Um, at, at one point, she was kind of begging, but she's here to stay. She's like, look, what I'm giving you, nobody else will be able to give you. And I need you to think this through. I need you to think hard because I got your back. Okay? Yeah, I was wrong with Pettis. You know, I was saying, hey, no, 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 no. But everybody was. You know? Truth, truth be told, nobody wanted you to win. They didn't care about you. So think long and hard about it. Um, then we go to the HOH uh, competition. Um, oh wait, uh, HOH nominations. Yo, this was just so produced. He sits in this chair and he's, mm, and he had to go around. I said, what is this? Get highlighting the things and you know, just pushing the. How much? What's in the budget? Okay, it's so much money in the budget. That's probably why y'all not getting so much money as a winner. Because it's so much money in the budget. When he did this, I said, oh, no, ma'am, Pam. <laughs> Let me turn this thing. <laughs> Let me turn this thing off. Anyway, he sits down in the chair. He's waving his hands. He's asking the guy. He took a drink from the goblet. It was just so much going on. Oh, why you got to do all that? Pick two keys. <laughs> Oh, anyway, he goes out. The wigs are going away. He opens up the gates, and <sighs> this is the nomination ceremony. Um, he nominates Rosina. He uh, um, nominates Alejandra, which is crazy because those are the only two people that talked to him. No, was nobody else doing game? I just the production moves so fast. <coughs> Excuse me. The production moves so fast. I can't get a good down there because I, I I promise y'all. And y'all know I love BB. Y'all better go to Rob Has a Podcast or something like that. I will not be watching the feeds. I just won't. I don't have time to watch the feeds. I, I'm not getting a good sense. For the average viewer, I'm not getting a good sense of who's sitting where, who's talking to it. Did someone try to come up with him? Where does, where does this lonely, conceited, sad puppy Johnny land? Who is, I just, I, I don't get a sense of that. Um, but he nominates Rosina and he's like, yep, you were, I think you were cheering against me and that's it. And he said he nominates Alejandra because she was the first to fall. The ceremony is complete. Rosina is not here for the bit, um, to, for the mess. She said, you know what? He wants to nominate me just because I cheered for someone else? Really? Okay. You made a big mistake. Okay. You made a big, big mistake. And Alejandra, she's like. She just felt horrible about what's happening and she was the first of all. She tried her best to go in there and it seemed like everything was cool, but who knows. 
Excuse me. Y'all remember Rosina went up to um Johnny was like, everybody else is calling you meek. They're calling you feeble. They're saying you can't make decisions. They're talking poorly about you. And you keep it up? I love Rosina. Outside of the oh my goodness, on the order. Cause that part could go. If we can evict that side of her, let's evict that to that. <laughs> oh my god, all the earth in the game. Call the paramedics. Anyway, keep going. Um, we got Alejandra and Paris, and she's like, look, I don't think Paris is telling her, I don't think you're the target, so you're gonna be good, don't worry about it. Um, and Alejandra, she says she's having a hard time. She wants comfort food. She doesn't have her own clothes. She don't have her own makeup. None of this stuff is like, it, it does, uh, all of it feels horrible. And now I'm on the block on top of that. And I'm just, I'm done with it. You got Hamza, which I'm really starting to like. He's like, look, I can't believe that he put the old lady up. He done put this old lady up here. <coughs> Why? It's so stupid that we done sat here. We put this old lady, you gonna put the oldest person up. She cooks for me. She'll be a vote for me. Um, and it's, it doesn't make sense that and she can't do anything in any competition. It's so smart to keep her and you putting her up. That's because he has had a conversation with Johnny, maybe. Who knows? Because we, we, they don't show us this. Um, the conversation that he had with Johnny was uh, he didn't have a conversation with Johnny. He would know from Johnny's aspect that, yo, he's a whiny face dog. And if you're not cheering for him, you got to go. Even I can make moves better than that. You're not cheering for me, but girl, you ain't you ain't buy nothing in this game. I'm going to keep you here. Nah, she wants to cheer for me, but she ain't buy nothing. I just keep winning, hey, winning competition over her. Anyway, you got um, Derek, Kayla, Jesse, and Paradise talking. They said that they're trying to form an alliance. I, I mean, I don't know Big Brother Canada like that to know what constitute what constitutes a winner what the average winner looks like what their gameplay looks like so i'm gonna stay out of that for now but looking at the group because their outline says the real one hashtag the real no oh, the real deal hashtag the real deal none of them look like the real deal to me tell me <laughs> i actually like hamza hamza looks like the real deal okay hashtag the real deal um, but all of these other ones look like the Vegas deal, but we gonna go past that. You got the veto competition. Yo, this is just, it just moves so fast. What was the, was there a name for the veto? Put it down in the comments. Did they name the veto? One. Two, did they say why they were supposed to be dressed up like these caterpillars? I just didn't get it. The game, basically, they had Johnny, Ali, Rosina, Jesse, Olivia, and Hamza playing. How do you decide who's playing? Yo, I really don't. I was so confused. I was like, well, who, how, how do they get picked? Who picks them? How do you know? What's the process of the, uh, the veto game selection? Uh, somebody, please put it in the comments, y'all. Again, this is my first season. So put it in the comments. How did they get picked? Who picks them? Is there was there a name of this game? Do they name the games? Does that matter? They had to grab an egg. They were in these um, caterpillar suits, and they had to nudge the egg to the end and get them in the little holes. The first person to get five in wins. If you put a golden egg in, I think everybody has to stop for thirty seconds. I could be wrong. Put it in the comments. It looked ridiculous. It looked cool. They were nudging. They were moving like caterpillars and doing whatever they needed to do. Alejandro was working really hard. Hamza, you know, he was going hard because he's like, I don't want Rosina to go home. I got to do whatever I got to do. Um, at the end of the day, though, oh, just... Johnny, he won. I'm so over him. I'm so over him. It seemed like right immediately after that, they went into the POV ceremony. This was like a double eviction night. <laughs> To the ceremony and he didn't even ask them questions it was just like i'm not using the power of veto and that's it okay close this he's not even close to the box i don't know it just moved too fast does it always move like this to recap the veto competition happened johnny won the veto ceremony happened johnny decided not to evict anybody so now you got Hamza saying like, look, I'm about to go around and try to get everybody to vote Alejandra out because there's no reason to vote Rosina out. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. So he's talking to people. He's like, yo, she's not a threat. She's the oldest person. 
we need to get rid of Ali. Like, that's what we need to do. Hamza wants to try to pull the puppet strings. Um, what sucks is that he, well, he did say that. I was like, okay, well, hold on now. Because he was like, look, I want to do whatever I need to do to win this game. It dictates everything. And if it happens and it blows up my game, so what? <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think we want that, Hamza. Okay, I'm, I'm going strong for you. <laughs> you calm down. To recap, guy, I feel like I gotta keep doing this. For those who watch regular Big Brother, and, and there's a lot of information I'm putting at you, Johnny won HOH. <laughs> Johnny won HOH, he put it Rosina and Alejandra. Immediately after that, they go into the veto competition, which all of these people were picked. I don't know why they were picked. Johnny won. Immediately after that, the power veto ceremony was taken. <laughs> Johnny did not use the power veto. Now we're doing the first eviction. <laughs> so follow me. Come with me, y'all. They go to the first eviction. Um, Alejandra talks first. And she's like, look, I just love being a part of Big Brother. And she's not ready to go home yet. No, I'm good. Rosina gets up here. She said, look, if you vote for me, you know, just keep me. I suck at competitions. I'm going to be a good vote. You're going to need that one vote. And I could. I don't see why you would even try to take me out. Um, at the end of the day, unanimously, they evicted Rosina. It was, it was, uh, it was, uh, to me, it was stupid. I think she's loud and we need to take that part. But after getting into the parts of her game, she ain't bought nothing. She could not even play the Caterpillar game. Oh, go to paramedics. Oh, my God. Uh, Arissa and Rosina's talking. Arissa, how did you sit down in that dress? It looked like it hurt. Talking, she was trending all over Canada. She didn't say what she was trending for, okay? <laughs> but Rosina was like, Oh, I love you so much. Oh, my goodness, oh, I thank you so much, Canada. Oh, I. <laughs> she didn't say what they, were, um, what they were trending for, but she did say, Look, like, I'm the real deal. I, I went in there, I fought, I did the best that I could to make a pleading argument, and they didn't want to do it. And those young, these youngsters, as she said. And they're gonna regret it. Um, nobody, everybody's afraid of making bold moves, and I would have made a bold move. Um, that's why Hamza didn't do it because everybody's trying to follow the house, and um, it's it's stupid because I wouldn't have. Uh, after that, now we get the gate crash. We get to figure out who's getting to come back into the house. Um, they picked Veronica and Merritt, which is all right. I didn't want Veronica, but I did want Merritt, so we we good. So these are the rules that are going um, into the house. They get they're going into the house. They cannot tell anybody that Canada voted them in. One. Two. They have to come through the diary room. Three. They have to come up with a believable story about why they're there. And I was thinking to myself, what would I have come up with? Y'all, truthfully, like I want to hear it. This is a conversation. Put in the comments for me. What would you have come up with? Let me think. This is what I would have come up with. This live on the scene, y'all, so... Because my problem... Okay, let's... Hold on. They had to come up with what they were coming in, and they were safe for the week. They're going into the diary room. They go in. This is what they said. Their thing was, okay, we went into a website. Um, it was advertising for a draw for a super fan. We tried to get it. That's too complicated because y'all got to go through back, back, back stories. Well, what website was it? Because then when people start to ask questions and get into the intricate weeds of it, you can easily tell this is a lot. You need something to be so simple. So, so, so simple. Something like, ooh, what would I say? We were in the audience. And they needed two more people. And we, we looked under our chairs. I was number 15. You were number 37. And we got picked. That's it. You know, your family, they started to... We were just here for episode two. Nah, because it's like, how you get your clothes? Did they have their clothes? See, I need backstory. Y'all, what would y'all... <laughs> I'm really thinking. Y'all, what would y'all put? Put it in the comments. What would y'all put? For the next uh, episode, I'm gonna... No, because we don't have... We wouldn't have that much time. I would say we were sitting in the audience. We got picked number 15, number 
37, and they picked us. And then we had to wait an episode. She didn't tell them, though, that somebody was evicted. She just said that they'd been in there for a while. She didn't say anything about anybody being evicted. I guess if I would have gotten that, oh, this is so different. Oh, I don't know. 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 Put it in the comments. What would you have come up with? Um, they came into the house. Everybody was nice. They were warm and cheering. So it was it was cool. I feel like they're going to have a good time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to catch up on some of the feeds on YouTube. Because I'm not going to watch the actual feeds. But YouTube clips of the feeds. Um, and we'll see what's going to happen. Y'all, I don't like the pace. But hopefully the pace isn't always going to be this pace. Other than that, it's edgy. It's overly produced, but it's edgy. I don't feel like I can connect with the characters, which is one of my issues with it. Uh, but maybe they don't want you to. Um, like, I don't get a chance to see people's families or feel for them. It wasn't enough about anybody else or who they are. So, I can't, I'm not connecting with the characters, but um, this is a game. It's like a game of chess, and I think that it's, hey, right now it's good. Um, if you like what you will, yeah, what y'all think about the episode? Put that in the comments. What would y'all have come up with? Who would you have evicted? Rosina or Alejandra? Put that in the comments. Um, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm definitely going to be watching Monday. Um, so I'm going to see you guys then. If you want to know more about me and everything I do, check out the Facebook, The Busy Blue. Uh, or you can get a more intimate part of me on Instagram and Twitter, Busy Blue. No space, no E is probably somewhere over here. Um, I have another show to watch and another video to do, so I'm about to go get busy. And you guys in Canada and in America and all around the world, stay busy. On till next time.